Good day everyone and welcome back to another beautiful video on our channel. In this video we are going to the Motor Museum of Western Australia. There are more than 200 vehicles in this museum which were manufactured from early 1800s to 2022. There are different models of cars, motorbikes and also utility vehicles. We are going to see all of them in this video and if you are an automobile lover you are definitely going to love this video. Before getting into the video make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon and let's start this video. This museum is in a suburb called Whiteman Park, nearly 13 minutes drive from Perth. It is open all day throughout the week and the ticket price to visit this museum is $16.5 for an adult. I bought the tickets and went inside to see what are the varieties of vehicles they have. When you come inside, you can see old model cars manufactured in 1900s on either side. The first car I saw was a green color 1954 Case of Manhattan. There was a board next to each car which carries the name, model and some more information about the particular car. The second car was a 1967 model Austin 1800 in white color. The next one was a 1970 Holden HE Premier. Holden is an Australian car company which produced a lot of cars but unfortunately it ceased its operations in December 2020. 1972 Toyota Corolla Coupe is the next type of car I saw there. We all know the reliability of Toyota cars and there is no surprise about the Toyota Corolla model still getting manufactured over the past 50 years. There was also another Toyota car called 700 Publica which was manufactured in 1964. The 1953 FX Holden station wagon is the first wagon type vehicle I saw there. Even though it was a 70 years old car, it was well maintained and the car was shiny and beautiful. The next one was a 1963 two-seater standard Vanguard utility vehicle. There was also another Vanguard car, it was a 1963 estate car, it was a big car of two colors and could carry six people. Nineteen seventy five Toyota Crown was also there in that museum. It looked nice too in the yellow color. I also saw a yellow color taxi manufactured by the Checker Motor Company in nineteen sixty four. Most of us would have probably seen taxis like this in American movies. They are specially named as New York taxis. Next, I saw some big vehicles parked in that museum. The first one was a 1946 Dodge 5 ton truck. It was in navy blue and looked good. The next one was an old fire engine used by WA Fire Department. 
It was a 1967 model Bedford J3 fire engine. 1989 model Ford F-150 ambulance was also there. I think that should have been the most common ambulance used by Western Australian government. I also saw an old Land Rover there. It was a 1953 year Series 1 Land Rover. It looked like a very strong vehicle. The next car was a 1939 DeSoto two-door S6 business coupe. It was a big car, guys. Coming past the cars, in another section, you can see some motorbikes. The first one I saw was a 1917 Harley-Davidson. The next motorbike was a 1962 model BSA. You can find more information there. Both the motorbikes were standing there with their carrier cabins. There was also a 1920 model American XLC bike. All those motorbikes were more than 100 years old and still in good condition. Along one of the walls in that museum, there were shelves installed and there were different kinds of vintage motorbikes, bicycles and scooters were kept in them. There were also some small model cars and car engines kept in those shelves. Coming past the shelves, there were some glass cabinets. Inside those cabinets, I saw many toy cars of different models. They were the miniature versions of the real cars and there were toys of models like Chevrolet, Ford, Holden, Shelby, Mustang, etc. displayed. On top of the glass cabinets, there were many trophies kept. They were the trophies won by different cars in different speedway racing competitions held in Western Australia. Finishing that section, I went to the next section. In the next section, the first car I saw was one of the oldest cars driven in Western Australia. It was a star model car manufactured in 1898, 125 years ago. It was an absolute antique piece standing there. There were also a 1903 model Oldmobiles car and a 1905 model DDN Bolton car. The next car was a surprise to me. That was an electric car manufactured in 1914. It was manufactured by Anderson Electric Car Company in Detroit, Michigan, USA. First, the electric car was driven using the lead acid batteries and it could be able to do 60 miles with one time charging. Then they used some advanced features and it could be able to do 100 miles with one time charging. That car was even manufactured before the World War I and it was impressive. Next to electric car, I saw a 1925 Rolls Royce.
It was a beautiful car in blue and black color. There was a white color, big beautiful car next to the Rolls Royce. It was a 1923 Stanley car and there was an information card next to it to find more information about that. I saw a 1971 model old Land Cruiser in that collection. It was very much rusted and seemed very old straight from the bush. There were also few other rusted old model cars which were manufactured in early 1900s. The 1931 model Cadillac car is one of the very beautiful cars I have seen in that museum. It was in shiny orange color and it was a very big car. 1929 Packard 633 Roadster was the next car standing next to the Cadillac. It was looking nice too. It's a red color car, very shiny and polished. The third one in the row was 1928 model Chevrolet. I also saw another couple of old model cars which were used in Western Australia. After that, I went to the next section. In the next section, there were more toy cars kept in the glass cabinets. There were also the models of some heavy vehicles, construction vehicles and defense vehicles made by wood and kept there. They all looked creative and beautiful. There was also an electronic traffic circuit where the small cars were kept and programmed to travel around in a certain orbit. It looked amazing guys. And if you are coming here with your kids, the kids will definitely love this section. Next to that section, I saw a demonstration vehicle kept in that museum. It was an automated electric vehicle without driver and that was manufactured by Western Australian government and under testing to carry certain amount of passenger from one place to another place effectively and safely. There were also some more luxurious vintage cars, motorbikes and bicycles kept in that museum. I saw a 1974 model Rolls Royce with an Australian flag kept in that corner. Next to the Rolls Royce were a couple of Bentleys. 1924 Indian Scout was a motorbike they kept in that section. Finishing that shed of the museum, I went to the next shed to see what they had there.
When I enter into the next shed, I saw a Formula One racing car at the entrance. It was a car of Daniel Ricciardo, who is an Australian motorsports racing driver based in Perth, Western Australia. I also saw a statue of him standing next to the car. There was also another go-kart car and some interesting facts about the car racing displayed there. In that shed also, there was a significant amount of car collection displayed for the pupil visiting the museum. There were some cars I found which participated in Australian Speedway and different kinds of races happen and happening around Australia. Among them, a red and white color Chevrolet was the one which won more games. All the trophies and medals it won were kept there. The last car I saw in that museum was a 2022 McLaren 720S. That was one of the best supercars in the world and one among three made in the whole world. It's a very luxury car and it was in orange color shining very beautiful and stunning. And one of the guides there told me it would worth around 750,000 Australian dollars. With that stunning McLaren car, my tour around that museum came to an end. I saw more than 200 vintage old model and new model cars manufactured by different companies with different comfort and facilities. Not only the cars, I saw some motorbikes too. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed the tour and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more stuff like this. I will see you all in another amazing episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.